It's Marsh Shadow time. As you can see uh, in front of us today for this episode of Pork Openings, we have the Shining Legends Pin Collection Marsh Shadow Edition. Uh, as you can tell from the delightful art of the slightly creepy and slightly cute grass fire, ghost fire, I can't remember what typing it is, uh, Pokemon. And as you can see, it also comes with a pin badge, which we'll take a closer look at in a second. This is the side. Uh, which is identical to the other side, which is not identical to the front and top. And this is the back. If you'd like to read a little bit about uh, Marsh Shadow, pause the video or something. I also quite like that they uh, outline Marsh Shadow as a playable foil promo card. How many times have they included a card that you can't play? Is that something that's regular? I mean, are they saying it's playable in that it's competitively viable? Um, I'm not sure. I guess we'll take a look at that in a second. So uh, let's go ahead and tear the side of the box open. Man, the glue is pretty strong on this one. I think I just cut my finger as well. Just fantastic. The uh, the lengths I go through for this series is incredibly small. Uh, right, so let's open it up. Let's see. So hang on. So 70 HP. That, that's pretty decent. Um, Okay, so Shadowy Echoes is kind of interesting. It's not particularly an overpowered move, though. And Surprise Attack is arguably a little bit useless. I mean, playable in that you can play it, uh, they are correct, but I definitely wouldn't put that in a deck, really, unless you really wanted to show your Marshadow love. I'm sure there are Marshadow cards in other sets, though. No. Where has the... Ah, the pin is there. Okay. So, this pin is actually part of the reason I uh, bought this box, because this is a darn good-looking pin. Look at that. It's, it's so cute. It looks angry, but also incredibly cute at the same time. Quite a big fan of Marshadow in general. Uh, you know, definitely not one of the uh, standout legendaries, but in terms of, you know new legendaries. It's definitely one of my favourites. The Ultra Beasts are kind of hit and miss for me. And of course the real, okay, the real reason I bought this box, three shiny Rayquaza packs. Well, that's quite interesting. Uh, is because Shining Legends is a fantastic set. Much like Legendary Treasures uh, from quite a few years ago, all of the cards in here are really shiny and stuff and you're guaranteed at least a hollow, which is why I thought I'd buy another box because you can only get these in boxes, you can't buy them uh, individually. And of course I have my Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box sleeves on hand in case I do pull a very nice GX or something. So without further ado, might as well uh, jump in. There'll be no particular order because all the packs look the same. Uh, so, in terms of things I'd like to pull, I'd like to pull another Rainbow card because uh, if you go back and watch my Shining Legends Elite Trainer box. Uh, I did pull a rainbow card in that. Now I shan't spoil what it is, but my god, it was one of my favourite cards, hands down. Four to the front, I believe it is. Yes, Steel Energy begins our pack that also contains Scrafty! Yay! I've never been big on the Scraggy line, really. We have a Buizel, uh, Floatzel, sorry. Which is a line I actually do quite like. Electrode, my boy. I, I love this line. We have a Toracat, kind of cool. We have a Totodile, very cool. Uh, I'd, actually, I'd quite like to pull a... Wait, no, I did pull a Feral Grater. It's a uncommon in this set, I believe. We have a Weasel to go with that Floatzel. We have a Pikachu, because of course we do. This is a Pokemon card set, after all. We ha Oh, man, that's a really nice looking Bulbasaur. Have I pulled that before? I don't think I have. Yeah, that's that's really nice. We have a reverse Litten. Pretty li actually no no. I'm I'm I've promised myself I'm not going to use contemporary slang in my videos. That's why I get so many views because people like my adherence to more traditional language. And our next yo okay. Okay, it was not haha. <sighs> <sighs> full art, NT, well, it's, it's obviously it's a full art, it's a GX. NT GX, oh my god, okay, this box, is, this box has paid for itself. NT is hands down 
one of my favourite legendaries. Uh, that is its number. So it is, uh, it's an ultra rare actually, it's a, ah yeah, it's got the uh, texture to it and everything. Oh my god. Okay, I don't, I, I genuinely, I don't really care what I get in the next two packs, even if they're just hollows now. That, ah, oh, I'd actually prefer this to the um, rainbow rare, because the rainbow rares are cool, and they're obviously, you know, rarer and stuff. However, the colour scheme, I really like Entei's colour scheme, so... My god, that, what it, what a first pack magic pull luck thing. Is there a, is there a hashtag for first pack magic? I don't know. Let's jump into the next pack whilst we're on this high. Well, I say we're on this high, I'm on this high, I don't know, other people may hate Entei. Fun fact, one of my friends hates Entei because he was annoying in Gen 4 competitive scene, like everyone ran an Entei. So, you know. Now, I'm going to copy from what Leon Hart does on YouTube and play the Guess the Energy game. I'm going to guess it's going to be fire. I was completely wrong. Okay, we begin with the Scrafty again. And a Weasel again. Okay, uh, that's a Golurk. We didn't pull one of those in the last one. We have a Voltorb looking off into the sunset really angrily. But kind of a bit like he's reflecting on his life. We have a Golet to go with that Golet. Very nice. We have a f uh, Buizel again to go with the Floatzel again. We have a Scraft uh, Scraggy to go with that Scrafty. Very well. Look, you're you're together now. You don't need to appear in the next pack. Uh, we okay. That, this is reverse, but it's not. We have a crocano. I don't actually think I have the crocano. I have the um, falligator. So that is very nice. That's actually some pretty uh, pretty unsettling artwork, actually. We have. Oh yes. Okay. Reverse energies are really cool. The they just seem like they're very valuable cards where they're not even technically counted in the set. And they were rare. Ooh, okay. Hollow Zekrom. I think I've pulled this before. Um, but hey, you know, Zekrom is a cool dragon and I might be able to run him in my deck, which now spans about three different generations because I formed it during black and white. So I can't play it in any tournaments anywhere, but I can play it with friends. And ultimately, isn't that what card games are about? Playing it with your friends? Or even making the bonds of friendship through card games. Right, okay, our final pack. Well, I'm kind of hoping something good is in this pack, just to, you know, give you viewers a reason to actually watch till this far because it's not going to top the first pack unless it is like a rainbow rare or something which i've mentioned quite a few times now so i think i've jinxed myself okay this is going to be fire no okay so we begin with a lipard as well as a lapras but i knew that wasn't a lapras oh okay we have energy retrieval we have a mag... Uh, no. Incineroar. We don't have a magma. Uh, ignore me. That that actually looked quite similar from a distance uh, to the artwork of Magmota from a few sets ago, maybe. Uh, we have a Minon with his cheeky smile. We have a Lavesta, like, just looking out and wishing he could fly, which he will eventually be able to do. Unlike Torkoal, who cannot fly and will evolve into, like, a kind of cool Pokemon, but a little bit forgettable. We have an Ivysaur. Our reverse is not this. Uh, Zorua. Okay. Our reverse is a... is a Scrafty. Yay! There we are, see? I was concerned that he didn't appear in the packs enough. And our final card. Our final... Our final cut. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay, okay. That that was worth literally. It, it was like stuck to. I don't know. Oh my god. Okay then. That. <laughs> oh man. What number are you? You. You're not a. Uh, you're not a super rare. You. You're just a regular part of the set, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That that's just a regular. Oh. 
Well then, okay. This has been a standout box. I know that the base rarity is actually hollow, so GX is technically the new hollow of this set. So pulling a GX in this set is, you know, just as likely as pulling a hollow in any other set. But, whew, that is, uh, damn. Two of my favourite legendary Pokemon. Just, just uh, this has been a fantastic uh, box for me. That, well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you did stay, you know, long enough to watch this. If not, I completely understand. I click off video sometimes too. Um, I'll leave a link to, like, the playlist of poke openings and stuff. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I sometimes do these videos. Not very often, but, you know. Also, I bought a uh, Mimikyu plush a while ago. Actually, I bought it months ago, but it was in a friend's house, but he brought it down recently. Anyway, uh, that that's, that's about it. I'm not very good at ending videos, so all I'm going to say 